Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the first of many podcasts called the Football Ramble. I'm joined by Chimmers. Hello. Hello Chimmers. I'm joined by Luke. Hello. And also Chris. Hello. How are we doing, Chimps? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, yeah, thanks, all right, thanks, thanks Not too bad, yeah. 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 Chaps, new start for us, new start for Wembley. One of my favourite quotes from last week um, was from our favourite pundit, Jamie Redknapp, and he said, I think Peter Schmeichel will be uh, a father figure for Cash Schmeichel. <laughs> <laughs> Did he really? Yeah, he said that. Have you heard that, Apple? No, I heard That's that. Fine, yeah. That's good. Zach Knight said he thought his dream had slipped... No, he thought his dream had washed through his fingers after he was arrested for possessing <laughs> loads of drugs and some guns with his brother hours <laughs> before he was unveiled as an Aston Villa player. Oh. His dream had washed. I love the mixed fingers. metaphors you get. Football's the best place for mixed metaphors. <laughs> Do you know, I want the, the best one is uh, I heard someone go, um, oh, he's going to, um, the thing is though, that, uh, I can't remember what it was, but this player, the upshot of this is your, this player might leave your club and the manager, whoever it was, I can't remember who it was, went, well, let him go. It's no skin off my teeth. <laughs> <laughs> well, once when I, uh, when I interviewed, um, Vic Searle, Farnborough town manager, they were playing, uh, I can't remember who it was. This is a great one. Yeah, this, this, but, is, this is a mixed metaphor of two cliches. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but in saying that, you know, football's a funny game and, uh, it's got a terrible thing about coming, you're coming back and, you know, stabbing you in the foot. <laughs> <laughs> That's so good. That's so good, isn't it? <laughs> oh, that's classic. But he, oh. you said Vic Sell was like the most cliched bloke. No, it was. It wasn't. I don't. It wasn't Vic Sell. Was it? It's a guy called. Um, oh, Terry Brown. No, Stuart. Um, he went to Stevenage afterwards. And this, oh. this, was, this was Vic Sell, wasn't it? Who's the guy Sell. with the Stevenage? Oh, afterwards? I know who you mean. I know who you mean. He was. Oh, uh, Graham. Graham Wesley. Wesley. He yeah. pipes up. The best we ever heard him say was when. Um, Farm brother man sent off. <laughs> and then uh, you remember like, this. this is you like this one, Jim? Farm brother man sent off. And, um, through, it was a bit innocuous and he was unlucky in fairness. And, uh, they were losing because they were down to 10 men. And a bit later on in the game, the other team, I forget who it was, um, pulled this farm up striker down for a clear professional foul. And Wesley gets out of his uh, dugout, runs onto the pitch and goes, uh, Ref! Come on, I've got a boy in the bar for less than that. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a boy in the bar for less than that. <laughs> there was one other one. It was um, it was at Ca I heard something at a game in Canvey Island, and the, the actual manager was like the owner, the caretaker, one of these kind of like. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. And uh, they had like a toilet at the side of the the ground. And he went, "Oi, get off the roof of that car, see. It's going to collapse." <laughs> 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 it's like a real, the most cockney bloke ever. <laughs> just shouting across the pitch while the game. <laughs> what the game's going on? Yeah, the game's going on. He, he was all shouting out like. Tactics. He's a one man bed. He's gonna make sure the whole thing. Sorry, the comments. <laughs> four, four, two. <laughs> <laughs> what was this all wrong anyway? There's some people like who'd got on top of the the toilet to watch the game. <laughs> He's like one of these like polter. Hi <laughs> oh, Jimmy, get behind him, get him behind, get off the cars. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, oh, that is classic. <laughs> <laughs> you, don't hear, you don't hear the term cars here, not here. Yeah, I, I think he's not, like, he's not as though he set the whole Stamford Bridge on fire anyway. Apparently, no. maybe he's on his way. It it does, there's been lo lots of reports that he's won away. You know, so. It does seem that Mourinho's had Balak and Shevchenko. Do you remember the outrageous comment he made, Balak, when he first <laughs> came to like, Chelsea about how he couldn't afford to buy a house? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He, was, he, he was renting. He was renting. Yeah, that's right. 130 grand a week and he said he couldn't afford to buy a house. Yeah. London's too expensive. Talking of Mourinho with his eggs and so on, Peter Kenyon's head looks like an egg, doesn't it? <laughs> mm. Peter, Peter Kenyon looks like Uncle Fester. Uh, like he does look a bit like Uncle Man on Earth. 
He's almost he's almost so evil. He's almost like a cartoon character. <laughs> yeah, he no. calls Chelsea fans customers, doesn't he? Yeah, and do you know he that is so shocking. So that is the most Chelsea brand. Yeah, yeah. that is disgraceful. Yeah, yeah. it's that's absolutely horrible. disgraceful. I like to punch him. <laughs> I punch him as well. As a Christian man, I would punch him. <laughs> you? After yeah. you two would hit him, I'd kick him in the face. <laughs> <laughs> what would you do, Chris? I'd just piss on him. <laughs> 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 and run away. <laughs> He'd run away as well. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> Over the Christmas period, Dennis Wise popped into the uh, footballing stories, didn't he? Yeah, he did. Not just yeah. that on the news, I think it might have been. As well. It was basically early New Year's uh, New Year's Day. It was at one a.m. in the morning. Um, driving home, and uh, he's some kids have started throwing rocks at um, cars and. Uh, Basically got out, and his was one of them. Yeah, basically he got out, and according to reports, um, he caught the thirteen-year-old and tried to administer a citizen's arrest. <laughs> <laughs> that, is, that is amazing. Yeah, it's probably happened to him so many times. Do you reckon he drill. said citizen's arrest? Citizen's arrest. <laughs> he knows the joke. <laughs> he, he sort of did the whole. You have the right right to remain silent. <laughs> yeah, I hope so. Yeah. Speech. But and um, there's a great comment by um, it was alleged. Give, le- uh, give the alleged credit. He said, uh, "Why doesn't uh, the kid pick on someone his own?" <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> so, but basically, yeah, and. Um, the kid, the kid went home and said, "I've just been, uh, I've just been done. I've just been done by Dennis White, <laughs> yeah. and uh, he's been reported to the police. And um, but the, both Wise and uh, the kids have been questioned by West Yorkshire Police. Good old Wise, yeah. Yeah, mm. Wisey back in the news. Such a contradiction. His name, Dennis Wise. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> should be Dennis Cunt, really. <laughs> <laughs> We can put that in, can't we? We had that. <laughs> we had that, that in there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll bend the rules, don't break them. How would you know? Wanker. Because it come up, Peter Kenny. <laughs> yeah, he's got it on speed dial. Yeah. Um, um, well, um, well let's, let's think of some other black and white um, animals that, that Mike Ashley could have ridden into St James's Park on as, as he raccoon? Club. Raccoon? Uh, raccoon? Raccoon? Yeah. Lo- loads of raccoons. Like, yeah, just yeah. sort of laying down on a sea of raccoons. <laughs> With a massive raccoon hat, like a David Crockett hat. <laughs> Do you think an ostrich would count? No, no. Not oh, I suppose it is. Maybe. Yeah, you see. Badger, you give them that ba- badger. Not like, big time, big badger. Badger. Badgers are quite big as well. And they're quite vicious. I don't know why that's Kill a whale! Nice. Oh, that would have been good. Well, a big it tank. Good, yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> oh, brilliant! <laughs> <laughs> like a sea world, it's like a, like a, like a, like a wetsuit made of like a Newcastle kit. <laughs> <laughs> a big he does whale. look like a killer whale, doesn't he? Really? A little bit. He's a large man. <laughs> yeah. He's a rotund <laughs> yeah, fellow. He yeah, and he could, he could kill whales. He's that heartless, oh. isn't he? About he is 101 heartless. Dalmatians. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, very yeah, good. Yeah. Very good. A killer whale would be brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> Fill up some James' part in water. Where the killer whale jumps up and the, and the train is standing like Yeah, it's Keegan. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It'd be brilliant. Mike Ashley's swimming through with Keegan on his nose and he jumps up and Keegan's like that doing the old crucifix position, Messiah. Yeah. So if we'll get a bit like, I just want to they... thank myself for glassing myself in the face. Yeah, just want to find say, a bloody hell. <laughs> yeah, but Moody will say, yeah, the ghost, they kept it down tonight so it was alright, yeah. you know, kept it at a minimum. <laughs> Anything else, Chris? I've, I've got, um, what's about red ants attacking a player, but... <laughs> <laughs> what?! Yeah, apparently, um, <laughs> apparently, um... <laughs> you said that like it was the most natural thing in the world! <laughs> yeah, basically, oh, it's, dear. um... This is strange, the way this <laughs> it is strange! <laughs> it's, it's, spot on it's, there. Well, it's from a Brazilian, uh, source, and it's got Brilliant. side back. As in, like, fullback, side back. I've never even heard of that. <laughs> well, perhaps this is this is Hans' brother. <laughs> Hans back side. <laughs> yeah. Side, side back. back. Marcus Paolo of Santa Cruzense. Um, basically, he fell on the pitch after a player of uh, USD Polista made a foul. I'm reading this verbatim. Made a foul. <laughs> <laughs> and when he stood up, his body was full of red ants. <laughs> full of them. <laughs> so coming out of him. Mar- Marcus Paolo freaked out. He ran to a puddle of water and tried to wash his body. We're just lying by the side of the pit. It didn't just work. A ditch. <laughs> then he took off his shirt. The ants were still there. He had to run <laughs> to the locker's room to take a shower. All this is true and happened. <laughs> this is written by your five-year-old brother. <laughs> <laughs> the did, bad thing is, loads of ants come out of the shower. All right, never trust a story that says, "I swear this is true. This will happen." <laughs> Why would you just say that? It's supposed to be a news story. But basically, he'd he'd fell on the col- a colony of red ants. It was actually on the pitch. And he's, he's quoted as saying, I felt my body numb. 
I thought I was having a stroke or something when I realised my shirt was full of ants. <laughs> this is what some avant-garde kind of feel. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Did the groundsman not pick up on that when he's like mowing them? Oh, Maybe he just saw it for thought, oh, I'll cut around that. Yeah. <laughs> I don't fancy yeah. that. Yeah. And then he says here, look, he says, the ref saw me taking off the shirt, he was going to give me a yellow card, but he freaked out when he saw the ants. So I just saw the player just running around the pitch. Did, 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 did he book each ant? <laughs> 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 so why did he not book him? He's covering ants. Yeah. yeah. Keep it oh, yeah. <laughs> Stopped him off. But apparently it says, uh, the, mu <laughs> the municipality of President Prudenti has announced it will exterminate the colony. Yeah, well, the only person here in my head has got a picture in the head of all the ants with boots and socks and shorts <laughs> and <the shirt. laughs> I, I get the impression that you say all the ants, I get the impression there's about eight ants, but they're really big. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? <laughs> just, <laughs> just don't, don't suffocate yeah. yeah. South America, innit? You can't muck around. See him, see him from the stand, sort of thing. Yeah. Yeah. I just, I just, you know, that's, uh, the mind boggles. That, that's, um, that rounds it up, there. Strange stories. I've got one of the week. quotes of the year that, oh, I just got a story about a player being eaten by red ants. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. I, I, am, yeah. I shaped the world of football. It's, 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 it's official. The Tinker Man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Your sideways glance yeah. is influential. Yeah. Well, we, we he was the one who put the ants on that pitch in Brazil. <laughs> <laughs> that player got eaten by him. <laughs> It's all one big you ruined so. Gaza for your own amusement. <laughs> yeah, he was the one who sent Peter Kenyon back from the future to uh, <laughs> to ruin the game. <laughs> Do you think Peter Kenyon sheds his skin? Uh, not as much as Avram Grant. <laughs> yeah, but, but bas basically, yeah, the whole story is uh, Ronaldo. Um, Ronaldo you imagine, he's sorry. accused. He's accused um, tr uh, transvestites of trying to extort him. Um, <laughs> now, in my head, I've got this thing about you know. I just said send you send Peter Kenyon back from the future. You know when uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger goes, uh, <laughs> Sarah Connor, that bit, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I can imagine like um, Peter Kenyon, right, going to like the Chelsea game at home to Birmingham, yeah, and um, and like Birmingham losing to like a la uh, Chelsea losing to like a last minute winner, and Peter Kenyon going to the players' lounge going, Gary O'Connor. <laughs> <laughs> We're on the subject of Arnie. I forget what film it is, but there's one where he's, he's with his daughter and she's looking at a, uh, just some sort of picture of Boy George, and he goes, I don't know why they don't just call him Girl George. <laughs> That's Commando. Yes, yeah, yeah, Commando. Yes, yeah, yeah, Jenny. Brilliant. Yeah. All I care about this Jenny. <laughs> he, li he lives in like, the middle of a forest on the edge of a cliff. Yeah, that yeah. is John awesome. Matrix. Yeah. yeah, he's John Matrix. Inexplicably Austrian American man. Yeah. <laughs> he, that is one of the best films in cinematic history. Anything left, John? Anything left, John? Just bodies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and he, the little guy. You know the little yeah, guy yeah, who goes yeah. off the cliff where you can see the wire attached yeah, to right, his. Yeah. He goes. um what was his name, that little lad? I don't know, but... Well, anyway, he says to him, You know when I said I'd kill you last? I lied. I lied. <laughs> <laughs> I know so, but he's on the plane and he's killed that guy, yeah, snapped his neck. Please excuse my friend, he's dead tired. <laughs> <laughs> there's, uh, there's, a there's a new, genius. there's a new film with Arnie in it coming out. No, which, where, um, the old he one. plays, he plays Marie Antoinette in the French Revolution and a, a sort of, a crone comes up to him and she's like, Arnie's the peasants, they are revolting! And he goes, let them eat lead. The venom on his face as he said that. He does two Fantastic. in a row, right, in Predator, when he kicks the door down and goes knock knock, and he throws a knife at someone, and it sticks him into the uh, wall, and he goes stick around. <laughs> 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 or at the end of Commando, I'm sure the listeners won't be surprised. If you haven't seen Commando, right, you, you're a shocking. If you haven't seen, the, you know, if you haven't seen Commando, <laughs> go into your iTunes, wherever it is, <laughs> click stop, close it down, and never download <laughs> this podcast again. <laughs> That's an order. That's an order. <laughs> <laughs> because the CIA has got you pushing too many pencils. <laughs> <laughs> he, um, at the end, when he kills, he kills, like, the bad guy, it won't surprise people that he kills the bad guy at the end. And it, like, it's a big tune. He looks like Freddie Mercury, the bad guy. He's yeah. like 80s Freddie Mercury. Yeah, yeah. Out of shape Freddie Mercury. Yeah. And he, and he throws that big piping thing through him and it goes boom right yeah. through him and, it, and he, and like, steam comes coming through it and he goes, let off some steam Bennett. <laughs> 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 Bennett, yeah. <laughs> let off some steam Bennett. What was that Bennett? thing he said when he was running for governor and he was accusing somebody of having We can weak, do it! Yeah, he was accusing somebody of having weak policies and he says, if anybody disagrees with me <laughs> and don't, doesn't think we should be more resolute going forward, I call them girly men. <laughs> When he, he won a second said term, that. when he, he won a, say that, when he won a second term, he, he won a second term. That's <laughs> doing his speech, and he went, "I love doing sequels." <laughs> That's true. That's that actually happened. That's true. Brilliant. 
<laughs> That's true. I'd vote for him for mayor. Yeah. I'd yeah. tell you what. He's having a mayor. <laughs> anyway, back to Chris. Go on, yeah, Ronaldo. Uh, Ronaldo, yeah. Oh, basically, basically, it all started when Ronaldo, um... Got caught in a hotel room with a terminal. Yeah, yeah, but basically, <laughs> basically... <laughs> he... <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, um, going for the Dutch. Pancake, um, pancakes. Dutch. He's going for the Dutch. Well, I'm endorsed to say support Spain, but, uh, I'm gonna say Croatia. Okay. Uh, no, the, the impression with the qualifying, and I, I love Bilic. I'd love to see. It's a real shame, actually, um, that uh, Eduardo's not going to be there for Croatia. That, 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 is, that is a shame. That is a massive shame. He's a good shame. player. He's a big but, player for them. Yeah, but I, I'd oh, love Brazilian. to see. Yeah. Well, yeah. I'd like to see Croatia. And I'd love to see Bilic dancing with the trophy. It'd be brilliant. I'd like to see bringing his guitar out on yeah. the pitch, yeah. singing yeah. the singing Doing the, the half-time entertainment in the final. Yeah. Or at, at, the end, at the end. Sort of him yeah. rocking him out, while out. him saying we are the champions in Croatia. <laughs> him doing like, a, like a Super Bowl halftime style shot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and and Bennett from Commando. Who looks like <laughs> doing the Freddie Mercury. And then the quality. bloke and the bloke who was singing like Croatian yeah. mountains of Tony Henry. Or whatever. They'll join hands. <laughs> He's there with them. Maybe Billy He's can, there with maybe them. Maybe Billy can he? ram his guitar through Bennett at the end and make <laughs> some incredible pun. Did that strike a chord? Awesome. Fantastic. <laughs> i tell you what. My fight is down. <laughs> this podcast is fucking free as well. <laughs> free. You do not get better value for money than that. Take a bow. As Andy Gray would say, take, take a, a bow, beer, son. son. Take a beer. Oh, dear. Awesome stuff, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, oh. treat her like a lady. <laughs> oh, dear. Well, let's... Uh... Murka, murka. <laughs> <laughs> let, me, let me move on to another email swiftly. Uh, this is from Guy P. He's got in brackets Geordie. Um, <laughs> Thanks for letting us know. Why are the Geordies feel <laughs> they have to tell us? It's like Scousers, they have to say where yeah, they're from. It's like Canadians always have to have a Canadian flag with them. Yeah, they're. it doesn't matter. We yeah. don't know where you're from. Come on, come on. Exactly. You, you, you are, are the a... most critical human being <laughs> of the Geordie race. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they, they race! They need you're not a race, Pete. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what we're talking about. This is it. <laughs> listen, to, listen to him. Chosen speak. ones. <laughs> like the Jewish. We're Cho chosen by God. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, chosen by God's had the piss ripped out of him. I oh, know, eh? If you're, you know, if you're either a rambler or you're not. Exactly. It doesn't matter where you're from. We're all ramblers. United under one common ramble Pete, flag. you're part of the ramble family. Mm -hmm. right, it's, yeah. our, it's our differences that make us love each anyway, other. Let me, let me. Let me. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, but Brad Frieda was a, is a top quality keeper, probably arguably the Premier League's best. Do you think so? Well, I'd say so, yeah. Well, do you think Man City are going to sign him in the window then? <sighs> It'll be the only player they don't. Yeah. They don't <laughs> yeah. Are they in the market for keepers or not? Have they? Uh, would they? Well, you could expect so, yeah. They went for Casillas. Yeah, that's ridiculous. Oh, that's yeah. ludicrous. Yeah. That is, that, is, bit, that is like looking into getting Pele cloned. <laughs> <laughs> that's stupid. I tell you it's what. Never happen. I tell you what, I would. I, <laughs> I would. <laughs> um, did I, did um, seriously? I'm not, sorry, I'm not saying I've got a good impression of Pele, but come on, both of you. What is that? I would. I you would. That's how he speaks. <laughs> <laughs> you know, oh, speak. I would. <laughs> He's talking, oh. about, he's talking about erectile dysfunction, man. Well, he doesn't suffer from it, does he? I love no the, I love the, shagged his way around I love the, the advert. Is, the whole crux of the advert is, I don't have erectile dysfunction, <laughs> but if I, I did, let me just make that abundantly clear <laughs> before we go any further, I don't have it. But if I did, I would definitely use this erectile dysfunction <laughs> clinic. Because being Pele, I got to have lots and lots yeah. of sex whenever and, I wanted. And at the end of the advert, he just sort of goes, I would. But there's nothing wrong with me. I'm, I'm, I'm absolutely... <laughs> Physically perfect in every way. Yeah, he's not the best man to do the job, is he? It reminds me of like with contact lens um, manufacturers <laughs> where you go into spec servers and like upstairs, like there's, you've got the spectacles. And they go, "Hey, oh, wear specs. So you look so intelligent." You go downstairs to the contact lenses and they go, "Oh, he's four eyes. Get some contact lenses." <laughs> <laughs> you end up it's with like both. Gone. It's, yeah, it's nothing to do with me. But <laughs> if <laughs> I had that problem, if I was Pele though, and, and, and like my agent <laughs> approached me and said, "Yeah, they've asked you to do this erectile dysfunction. <laughs> Who have they been talking to?" <laughs> <laughs> Who recommended me for this? Where, where's Surely this come none from? None of the millions of women I have. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. yeah, I've had no complaints. Yeah. Pella, you're seventy. You, I've had no <laughs> complaints. <laughs> I love that advert. It's a brilliant advert. And not yeah. only is it brilliant in, in uh, television form, also there's a lot of you them in... the um, cinema, have you? Well, no, there's a lot of magazine ads of ah. him. And you're standing there with this really nice blazer Is on. it a pop-up advert? <laughs> Looking as distinct... Oh, good! Toy. I like that. Come Looking on. as no, distinguished as he can. Oh, and you for his hands and his really nice blazer. And yeah. at the end it does say, I would. Yeah, <laughs> it's not the tagline for the whole thing. May not in Liverpool, Chelsea. I bet Everton are quite flattered to be put in. <laughs> yeah, they probably are, yeah. <laughs> and the next one is um, the best glamour model of the year, right? 
This is Glamour model Jessica Jeannot, who was a girlfriend of uh, Martin Palermo. Remember Martin Palermo? He missed, Argentinian? Yeah, missed yeah. three mm. penalties in the game. Yeah, yeah Boca Juniors centre forward. Anyway, Glamour model Jessica Jeannot says, injured Boca Junior star Martin Palermo's knee ligament damage is, in quotes, probably her fault. <laughs> and she goes on to say, I like to play erotic games with Martin, and that's my right. People should understand there's no lovemaking timetable for a woman like me. I can do it in the morning, afternoon, or evening, or all at once, non-stop, during the same day. I'm like a dirty volcano. <laughs> <laughs> That is fabulous. How good is that? Oh. All at once. <laughs> I had to read that out. I and at night at the same time. How does that work? Uh, Joseph, uh, I put that in my bag about a week ago. It's in for this show. I just like, <laughs> if she'd ended that sentence with, uh, I, I fuck knees as well. <laughs> oh, yeah. I have sex with knees. I just it's love that. Right. Bit. <laughs> That's been lost in translation. I'm like a dirty volcano. <laughs> I don't understand. A dirty volcano. <laughs> well, I, oh, nothing to add to that. Nothing to add to that. Um, uh, this is uh, this is like I'm not sure where these teams are. This is somewhere in England. This is fantastic. A football match was cancelled after angry wild boars invaded the pitch. Oh, that's amazing. The hogs squeezed through a gap in the fence at Sadley Recreation Ground in the Forest of Dean during a villagers' match against Charfield on Saturday and dug up giant mounds with their snouts. The pitch was so badly damaged by the boars who live in nearby woodland that the match had to be called off. The pitch underwent a w- uh, grand return and an extension expansion last April, paid for by fundraising events such as discos. I love so that. They live in a nearby woodland. Big. They're not going to live in a nearby council. I'd, say, state, I'd, I'd, abso- I'd absolutely shit myself with that. Yeah. <laughs> God, yeah. They're big, they are. Those fucking yeah. pigs. Gloucester Football Association op- Operation Manager Chris Lucker said today, this is the first time we've heard of anything like this. Usually it's motorbikes or cars that tear up pitches, <laughs> not <laughs> boars. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, which would be more terrifying. Well, motorbikes yeah. live in the woods. Yeah, um, yeah all sorts. This is absolutely amazing. Um, after, uh, yeah, apparently, after being hunted to near extension 300 years ago, years ago Wild boars have, bre- have bred rapidly in recent decades after they were imported from Europe for meat. Escapes from wildlife parks and farms increased in the 90s as the captive numbers grew. January this year, a wild boar broke into Ruidon Primary School, seven miles away from the Sadly pitch, and was shot dead in the playground after it became aggressive and stumped its feet. <laughs> <laughs> a selective cull of boars was sanctioned in February this year by biodiversity manager John Ruddock. These things are unstoppable. <laughs> I don't think they're that common. Where, I've never safe. seen one. No. I've never seen one. These things can do whatever they want. Have you ever seen one? No, I haven't. Only in, only in Robin Hood films. Is did you get them? Did they get them in, in, the, in the exotic northeast? No, I was thinking about. I was thinking about uh, the song "Wild Boys" uh, and apply it to wild boys. <laughs> wild boys. Wild boys. <laughs> <laughs> As they enter Never the pitch, lose like it. <laughs> wild boars, they'll dig up your pitch. <laughs> that, that'll, like be in, that. that'll be in like the guy who plays the CDs at football matches. He'll yeah. have that. He'll yeah. have do you that. Do you think he'd have um, right, girls and balls by Blur? Uh, yeah. 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 Girls who want balls, like football pitches or something. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> and you could go on. I like that we've got a reference to Duran Duran in there because they are undeniably the greatest band in history. <laughs> Say something, Luke. I'm cutting that out. <laughs> <laughs> For the risk of the Rambles' reputation. <laughs> you noticed they're in our top friends? I have noticed. Oh, no, I, I have noticed. Um, you put Duran Duran in our top friends in my oh, yeah. What other wild boar songs can we think of? Um... <laughs> Uh, balls, 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 balls. <laughs> I'm looking for a pitch invasion. Let me rephrase that. What other world ball songs can we think about which aren't just substituting the word boy for ball? <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm, ball I'm slippy. Of is, is go- ball, ball slippy. <laughs> <laughs> ball Maybe it was just like a bunch of wild boars and they were just like really rowdy blokes just going <laughs> along. What's a boar? a boar? That's the kind of thing that Sylvester just... Stallone would say if he saw one. Uh, boar. <laughs> boar. 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 Yeah, boar. Boar. So he's got a really high IQ, isn't he, weirdly? <laughs> Schwarzenegger. Boar! Weirdly. Get to the chopper! <laughs> Let's have a jingle, a wild boar jingle, Pete. Wild boy! <laughs> <laughs> Where did get that from? Wild boy! <laughs> awesome. Oh, brilliant. You got to be happy having Duran Duran. Oh, I am. I'm delighted. You know, with um, what with the uh, yeah yeah yeah, and it's yeah, going to be his last big deal, isn't it? It's going to be his last. Yeah, of course, it will be. Yeah. Mm. Listen, Liverpool, I, oh, you, that, you just feel they're going to do what they normally do. Are so- you suggesting that leaving Cahill unmarked in the box wasn't the best thing to do? <laughs> Fucking hell, Cahill. <laughs> do, do you? He's such an un. Un-ed- he's such a cunt. <laughs> <laughs> if there's one man, if there's one man in the Premiership, I just hate with a passion. Tim. Fucking care hell. I like. Do you know what I like? I like the fact that you've chewed your pen and now it's leaked all over your mouth. That's not. It's not. It's not a leak. It's a bit of plastic. Oh! oh! You've been murked, murked Luke. You've murked. been murked. Visually murked. Murked in the face. You've been Donny murked. <laughs> I don't even need to say it because no one can see anyway. An error from Luke Moore there, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, an Hoisted <laughs> by his own petard. <laughs> so what, why do you hate him? He's just an arrogant prick. I f- just. 
He scores too many goals against Newcastle for one. <laughs> uh, 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 oh, your part. hate list must be yeah. massive. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He, he stands down genuinely... the right way giving out speaking tickets. He's just a, <laughs> he's just a mouthy, pushy little shit. Yeah. I just cannot Comes stand Comes the territory, him. mate, being Australian. <laughs> oh, oh, naughty. Naughty. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm a lovable scamp. I'm a lovable rogue. <laughs> if Harry Redknapp said that, he'd be fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Any old Harry. No, 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 Nicky Butt, Nicky Butt, Nicky, Nicky Butt. Do you remember, do you remember the ex uh, Newcastle goalkeeper Mike Hooper? <laughs> was he? Ginger? No, he was also he Liverpool. Was, he was quite ginger. He was, he was also Liverpool. Uh, yeah, I don't remember it. Yeah. He, yeah, he, he, nearly, he nearly lobbed um, uh, Neville Southall from his own goal mouth, I seem to remember. That's lobbed the ball good. over Neville Southall, yeah. not lobbed Neville Southall. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, would be, that would be quite a feat. You wouldn't even get him past a six-yard box. No, yeah. Did <laughs> you even pick him up? No. Well, that, that would be a w- What player do you think you could throw over a crossbar? <laughs> uh, not Neville Southall. Uh, Alan, just, Alan Wright. Just George Pete Cladzer. Kid Cladzer you could, yeah. Who? Do you remember just Alan Pete Wright? Count Pete Easley. <laughs> I could drop kick feet over a crossbar. <laughs> any, <laughs> any dead player that's just a bag of bones, yeah. <laughs> bit, uh, mm, bit, bit tasteless. Well, I didn't name a player. Georgia King Clazzy, you said, which I think is a good shout. Yeah. Do you remember Alan Wright, the fullback for Villa? You're very small. Mm-hmm. Yeah, do him. Jose Dominguez. Ex Tottenham Portuguese winker, jinky yeah, midfielder. Yeah, probably, probably. Very probably. small indeed. Sean Five Ra- foot four. Sean Ross Phillips, obvious one. Yeah. 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 Zola. He'd go over yeah. Jody Morris. Oh, is he yeah. small? He'd, he'd probably fight no, you before yeah, you yeah. get a chance. He'd probably throw him against the bar. Yeah, he'd put yeah. up a fight, wouldn't he? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah well, yeah. no, he'd start a fight. <laughs> yeah. And then you think, if I can get him over the crossbar, maybe this is how it'll end. <laughs> <laughs> That's a finishing move, isn't it? Yeah, like, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so, um, crossbar <laughs> him. I'm Mortal Kombat. All right. All right, Rio. Um, gentlemen, who is your favourite South American footballer Ooh. of all time? Ooh. All time. Good, good question. Good Great question. question. <laughs> um, <laughs> I would really imagine yours would probably be Marcelino, Pete. Uh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a tie between him and uh, Mir- Aspria. What or, about or Mirandina? Mirandina, I was yeah. going to say. Aspria's a great shout, isn't it? It's got to be for what a wonderful yeah, man over there. there. Not, uh, for football and being a bit mental. What a wonderful man! Yeah, yeah. He's got a wonderful. <laughs> man. Do you remember when he, he agreed to play for Doncaster and he didn't turn up? <laughs> Darlington, 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 that Darlington. was it. Yeah, he just didn't turn up. <laughs> yeah, I'll play. Yeah, brilliant. How much are you going to pay me? Yeah, brilliant. I'll be there. I'll see you on Monday. I'll meet you there. Big did press conference. Did you get that through a temp agency? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> the chairman <laughs> cried on television about it. He's so dirty. <laughs> really? Great yeah. news. Oh dear. But he was constantly just kind of. Uh, he still hasn't. Uh, his last sort of uh, bit he got in trouble for was. It's always guns with him. Yeah. <laughs> always, always guns. But the last one was like a, a few months ago, and uh, he got in trouble. He had a minibus full of women coming onto his <laughs> farm. <laughs> And, uh, is that a crime in itself? I, don't, I don't know. Is, it, well, is that what he keeps with his farm? When, <laughs> he, <laughs> yeah. when, they, <laughs> he, when he breeds them, when he's, he's trying it, to breed them, but it's just not working. Yeah, he doesn't right. understand why. When he when he wasn't allowed them in, he uh, started shooting. <laughs> <laughs> Shell. Yeah, but he wasn't was allowed the, on his farm. I don't know why. There's this in this many <laughs> 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 This many bus of women wasn't allowed to um, throw a road or something, and he went mental. Yeah. I mean, I love Osprey. He's, he's an absolute legend. I, I'm really intrigued to know where this farm is. Yeah, same. Mm. Well, it'd be in Colombia, wouldn't it? Uh, yeah. Be I wonder Columbia, what somewhere. they farm. Well, to be honest, I was about to say that. I mean, surely if he's just owning a farm and he's just got women, that's the least <laughs> of their worries in Colombia, right? <laughs> <Exactly. laughs> well, yeah, he's firing a gun every now and then, you know, but, you know, <laughs> he's not funding um, terrorism or selling drugs, so. Well, maybe it's not so bad. I don't know. Allegedly. True. <laughs> Um, anyone else want to? We've had a sprint. Well, like the <laughs> obvious one is to wade into the whole sort of Pele or Maradona debate, but I'm going to just sort of sidetrack that and go for Edmundo. Oh, oh yeah, like a similar reason, just because he was absolutely yeah. mental. They called him the animal, didn't they? The, the animal. And yeah. I've actually seen like there's that famous story about the time he got um, a monkey drunk. Yeah, um, and that was at his son's first birthday, birthday party. party. <laughs> it's absolutely ridiculous. I've actually seen a photo of it as well, so it's definitely true. Like this <laughs> monkey just with this pint glass, just what, like his tie around his head. <laughs> Edmundo just standing there, he's looking like, fucking hell. Yeah. Okay, this has worked. This <laughs> monkey is drinking. <laughs> no, he's exactly. monkey, he's, he's going hammered in a moment. He's, th- he's, th- he's looking at the monkey and he's thinking to himself, I fucking made it. I've made it. <laughs> <laughs> the world is mine. Well, the brilliant thing is the monkey is wearing like a red Adidas tracksuit as well. <laughs> 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 Why? You sure it was a Romario? <laughs> <laughs> Did he pull up in a car with Clint Eastwood or something? Yeah, yeah he, pulled, I'll, I'll, he pulled up in a bus full of monkeys. Hey, they had yeah. a bit of trouble getting on. <laughs> yeah. Paraguay are doing well, I think they're top. They are, they're flying. Let's bring it back home. Oh, Peter. Alan mm, Shearer. Let's, let's go north. Alan Shearer. Newcastle United Hello. Comedy Club. Can you get us on the guest list, Pete? <laughs> <laughs> well, you, you're pleased about that, Pete. Uh, 
it's just a bit of a difficult one. It's it's not a great situation either way, is it really? Um, get the monk if you're back. Get him in. What? <laughs> get yeah, him exactly. In. Just just you know, I mean, give him his eight games. Give him his uh, give him fifteen his minutes. But yeah. um, no, he should. You know, what I mean, why wasn't he offered the job uh, after Keegan left? He's well, well, he's he's eight one. games, isn't he? He's basically bulletproofed against yeah. any criticism. That's why he still goes yeah. down. Yeah, exactly. yeah, I mean, so he's done that. You know, eight games. and he's done that before. He's done that when he played. You know, it just it just kind of smacks of him just sort of going well. Can't can't mm. really lose here, can I? Well, and um, it's, it's, you, but Pete, you, you you sound a little bit reticent today, if you don't mind me saying, because yeah. when it actually happened, <laughs> right, my phone rang, and I'm you something. This is absolutely one hundred percent true. My phone was on silent, but the only reason I answered it is because it vibrated off my chest of drawers onto me, and it woke me up. <laughs> and it was Pete ringing, and I thought to myself, God, Pete never rings. At what time was this? Uh, exactly four fifteen a.m. <laughs> right, and I thought Pete never rings. He never answered the phone when I ring him. It must be something terrible happened. We've been done for live or something like that. <laughs> And it can't wait. Why would I yeah. know? Like Marcus said, <laughs> yeah. Marcus said you, I bet you thought he was ringing to say Peter Kenyon's come around and attack helicopters to kill you. Get out of the house now. Like. And then, um, yeah, it was Pete. I answered it. All right, Pete, how you doing? Load of unintelligible, like, Geordie vernacular down the phone <laughs> before just ra- hanging up. And that was at 4.15. But not oh. unintelligent. That- <laughs> <laughs> and then I got a text at exactly 4.19am saying, I am instantly sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, uh, I got a bit drunk. I, I, I came back uh, and was expecting. I was just logging on, uh, seeing what was going on and stuff. And uh, yeah, I discovered that news. Woke up and I was as drunk as a lord. And I just wanted. To, I just wanted some to, to let somebody know because <laughs> I love it how you had to let somebody know. Yeah. That's the thing. I I'm pleased somebody, it was I me. Somebody, I'm touched. I wanted somebody to sh- Well, it was a few other people as well, to be honest. Oh, I know. <laughs> leave it there. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's um, you rung me. That's the fact. But yeah. I like to think you were outside the stadium with your Newcastle <laughs> yeah. shirt on, which of course everybody else. I made like, your Newcastle shirt off. Yeah. But it was yeah. it was worse waking up still drunk at 10 a.m. and going, oh, it's fucking April Fools. Day. They wouldn't. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's <laughs> why I take you back. Is it April Fools? Yeah. But um. <laughs> That's Fire. what time definitely yeah. meant. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, good one, James. Okay. I've got another one for Ooh, you. Goody. This one's from the Times. Um, imagine Arsenal hiring out the Emirates Stadium for a Madonna concert in May 2010, only to realise closer to the time that they need the venue to play a Champions League semi-final. <laughs> that is roughly the situation facing Stan Kroenke, the majority shareholder at the North London Club with a 28.3% stake. And a great moustache. And a shocking moustache it's a public relations and scheduling error that has led him to be challenged to a wrestling match by Vince McMahon the owner of World Wrestling <laughs> Entertainment <laughs> the bizarre tale begins last August when Kronka's company Kronka Sports Enterprises agreed in principle to hire out the Pepsi Arena in Denver Colorado on May 25th 2009 to the WWE for its Monday Night Raw wrestling show hmm. on April 15th of this year the deal was finalised <laughs> however Kronka's basketball team the Denver Nuggets having advanced to the semi-finals of the NBA playoffs and now <laughs> scheduled to play a home match on that day against the Los Angeles Lakers. Most likely, Kronka never expected that the Nuggets, who have not advanced beyond the first round of the playoffs in five seasons, well, they're called would the Nuggets. this far. Yeah, for one thing, yeah. sort that out, yeah. Kronka. Don't, don't call us the Arsenal, like, chicken zingers or something like that. <laughs> like that. Um, now, however, he has a problem because there is no escape clause in his contract with WWE. <laughs> Oh no! Kronka should be arrested for impersonating a good businessman <laughs> because, quite frankly, he's not a good businessman. Mean Gene, <laughs> Mean Gene, said, said McMahon. He said that WWE had sold in excess of ten thousand tickets and that sellout was expected. So Vince McMahon is obviously furious about <laughs> this, this, right? Is so good. Yeah, the fans in Denver had a lot more faith in making the playoffs than the owner. McMahon said, right? And then um, basically, what's happened is Stan Kronka has tried to play it down as much as possible, but Vince McMahon isn't letting he's him. <laughs> Like, he's had like he's had loads of different wrestlers out just k- to keep the story in the press <laughs> talking about it. And on uh, there's a cute clip of this on YouTube on Raw, right? He got an impersonator out of Stan Kroenke to get into the ring, run down like run down Los Angeles, run down the Lakers. And they they actually held the show in Los Angeles instead, which was coincidence. Yeah. And Vince McMahon came out and started talking about Stan Kroenke, saying he should like that he he can't run anything and uh, taking the piss out of the fact that his first name is Enos. He, kept, he, he accused him of having enus envy, things like that, and oh. then pushed him over. It is very, very mature. Imagine, very that mature. Imagine if Richard Scudamore had arranged <laughs> right, for some sort of event. He rented out, rented out some, some sort of event to happen, and, and, and Alex Ferguson like agreed, right. and and my, and and and, uh, and and whoever it was agreed that happened in Old Trafford. But it, contra- it went in Big Daddy's face, and then Richard Scudamore <laughs> came up, went on like Jonathan Ross and started calling him out. That's yeah, the equivalent of what would happen. It's- 
Americans are mad. Yeah, but it's, that's that is fantastic. It's, it's, he had um, he had a wrestler called John Cena. Uh, oh, kept bringing it up. You've had a running with John Cena, haven't you? I've had a running with John Cena. Yes, the what star happened? of uh, twelve weeks. Or twelve something. rounds. It? Twelve, 12 <laughs> rounds. Yeah, he, uh, he, I made a joke about him having his mum having Osama bin Laden. I mean, never talk about wrestlers' mum. That's your first. <laughs> yeah. That's the first. Oh, insult his order. country. Yeah, I, so I said that she, that she had Osama bin Laden in his basement. <laughs> his ex-marines as well. I don't know. I don't know what I was <laughs> yeah, thinking about. What yeah. were you on? That? Um, was that the same week you were? Uh, were you trying Frankie to see if Fraser? wrestling's real? Like, <laughs> yeah, that's what he was that's trying to do. That's the same week you interviewed Mad Frankie Fraser and got to hang up because yeah. he's a fucking thug. It yeah, wasn't a great you week. called Mad Frankie Fraser a reprehensible thug and you insulted John. C Seen as mum and country. I'll take him on. What's wrong with you? Scoodemore, I'll take him on. Well, I'll, take, I'll smack any you, you guys. I reckon you could take Scoodemore. <laughs> I reckon you could. Yeah, I, do. Give the, I think they missed it. Unbelievable. The trick why didn't they, why didn't they just combine, combine basketball with wrestling for one, <laughs> one night only? Well, actually, they, Real did, sport, they did get all the wrestlers to dress up as the two opposing teams and the Lakers won the match. Right. It is very did, childish. Did, did, very, did, very did, did childish. Did try to do something along the lines of American football and wrestling? Could like could like XFL or something, I think he did, yeah. Did yeah, so it's not completely beyond the idea, realms of possibility. <laughs> Just watch football, America. Yeah. Bloody hell. Right. Probably, de- probably a decent yeah, It's, right. a it, decent it's just like, yeah. But it's loads, of, loads of clubs, you say that, but loads of Premier League clubs were indicted fairly recently, as early as sort of the beginning of this season, for paying their cleaners and their tea ladies like, practically minimum yeah. wage. Because, That's true. Do you know why? Because they have to scrimp whenever they can, because they... They say bump the ticket prices up. They play the players loads. So they have to save money in other areas. And they've been a lot of them, uh, Newcastle's one in question got indicted for for uh, paying their players. Um, sorry, not paying their, paying their members of staff very low wages. Mm. So maybe the player liaisons just do it for the for the, yeah. for the glamour of the job. Mm. Yeah, pop around John Terry's house. You know, f- yeah, pop around Frank Lampard's house. You know, <laughs> crimping his pie or whatever. Yeah, fast <laughs> work. If Fix you can his get wee. <laughs> Fix his dad's wee. <laughs> <laughs> When I worked for Leicester City, uh, cutting up pork. <laughs> <laughs> no, no when like, I... re- rewind. <laughs> <laughs> you started this story halfway through. <laughs> Don't say like that. We know what you're talking about. Was it, speci- I, was it specifically pork? Or I, was it it was specifically pork. I was on the hog, the hot hog stand. Uh, Marcus has gone. You lost at Leicester, <laughs> at Leicester City. In the pro, in, in the in, on that season where they went down and they didn't win a single match forever, and. Um, <laughs> And and yeah, I got paid like three fifty or something. An I'm hour. sure it was a le- it was ridiculous. Per hour, per pig. <laughs> per pig. Yeah. And one of, and one of the posh execs used to come out and go, and every time he used to come at me and goes, uh, "Don't be shy with the old apple sauce." Your mother wasn't. Hey. Every single time. <laughs> what does that mean? I what don't know. I, ju- I just think he means that he's he's never even met my mother. She's in the northeast. <laughs> what it means is you live in some sort of alternative Mary Poppins style <laughs> world. Is what it means. <laughs> is it just pork? It was pork, but... It, it, so you, was there someone else specifically <laughs> doing the applesauce? No, no. You, you know, lamb, no, you'd get given, you'd given, you'd get given a sharp knife and uh, half a pig and you'd just cut it up for the people and they'd have sandwiches. It'd be, it was good. Oh, it was a good little job. That's a needless expense. Nothing to add. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't come in with it. Diamond lights. Really, really. That is the lowest of the low. That is a low point for me.